Hi everyone, welcome to my talk. My name is Heju. I'm a data scientist at Art Concepts. Today, I will introduce our study, All the Attention You Need, Global Local Spatial Channel Attention for Image Retrieval. This work was done with Chauhan Song and Yanis Abridis. The goal of this study is introducing a novel method for representation learning for instance-level image retrieval. I will introduce our model GLAM, Global Local Attention Module. It is attached at the end of Backbone Network, and it has four forms of attention, either local or global, and either spatial or channel. Here are the main contributions of our study. First, this is the first study employing all the four forms of attention. Second, we showed empirical evidence of the interaction of all forms of attention. Third, we achieved sturdy art performance among the studies based on global descriptors for image retrieval. Let me briefly explain each component of GLAM module. We collect information from the feature tensor F through two parallel network streams. Global attention module captures pairwise interaction within channels or within spatial locations. On the other hand, local attention weights channels or locations independently based on contextual information obtained by pooling. In the local attention stream, we first make a local channel attention from the original feature F and get the local channel attention feature map. Next, we make a local spatial attention from the original feature F and multiply with the local channel feature map. In the global attention stream, we first make a global channel attention from the original feature F and get a local channel attention feature map. The C by C global channel attention map captures the pairwise interaction between different channels. Next, we make global spatial attention from the original feature F and multiply with the global channel attention feature map. This HW by HW attention map captures the interaction between different spatial locations. The attention feature maps from the two streams are fused with learnable weights at the end of the module. Please note that we only use global descriptors without re-ranking. We use a standard data set for landmark image retrieval and map to evaluate our model. Here are the results of the model GLAM and some of the state-of-the-art studies on map. The clean version of Google Landmark version 2 was introduced by Wei and et al. It is relatively new, so that study is only one trained on that training set. You can see that our GLAM results from the same training set clearly outperforms their study by a large margin. Solar and Dell G are two other state-of-the-art studies trained on Google Landmark version 1, so we also trained our model on that for fair comparison. This table shows we are still outperforming them with only one exception. We ablated the effect of local and global attention modules, each with either channel or spatial attention or both. The first row is a GLAM baseline that is without attention. First, let's look at the effect of local attention. If only one of the channel or spatial attention is used, it is sometimes harmful, but it is beneficial when both channel and spatials are used. Global attention was a little different from local attention. It is almost always beneficial even if only one of the channel or spatial attention is used. When they are used together, the gain from global attention is impressively high. The last row shows our best model with both global and local attention. It clearly shows further improvements in the accessory of both types of attention. Let me conclude this talk. We introduced a novel approach for extracting global and local contextual information using attention mechanisms operating on both spatial and channel dimensions. We provide a comprehensive study and empirical evaluations of all four forms of attention for instance level image retrieval. We get the maximum gain when all forms are present. Thank you for listening.